the mayor allows us the ever the every every home program. We got some problems with this program. Um, first, let's talk about the standards for uh, for rehab. We want to make sure that these houses get fixed properly and that they are up to code, so that people, so that they're livable and sustainable and a healthy uh, and have a healthy environment. Um, these houses have to be fixed in a way where, when a first time, when a first time home buyer that is low income buys these houses, we want to make sure that in six months the boiler doesn't go or he, he's got electrical problems in that. We want these houses up to code and, and, and up to standards so that people, so that they are livable. That goes along with the, that goes along with the upkeep. If you do it right the first time, you don't have to come back and keep tearing and keep tearing things down and starting over again. Mayor Rosa, we gave you ten months before before you spoke to us about anything. You turned us down for our advisory board, for a community advisory board, and we want that community, we want those people to be coming from the community. How can you say you help the community if you're not talking to the people that live in that community to ask them what they need and what's going on in their community? There's no way. Also in this program, there's a lack of transparency. I mean, we've been talking to CDCs and other groups that can that, that can help us keep uh, at least we want at least half of these houses for low income. And there's a problem because the information about the program and how the program is going to work, CDCs can't get it, and um, it's, it's, just, it's just a mess. You know what I'm saying? Come out and tell and, and tell people what you're doing. You got to talk with folks so that so that they can help you help themselves. Um, in Providence, in or the state of Rhode Island, there is 57 percent of renters that are paying more than 30 percent of their income just on housing alone. Is that right? Uh, it's not. No, it's not. It's not right. That equates out to 18,235 households. We have 10. We have 10,524 affordable units. We need at least another nine thousand. To house the ones that are not that are not in the market in our hometown. We're in, in talking and in talking about the law. Um, um, in, uh, low income developers cannot uh, utilize the law, like I said, for, for lack of information. And if these houses are not up to code, they can't buy them and keep them for low income people. And that's what we need. I don't know how many of you make $43,000 a year to be able to afford a two bedroom house, but I for sure don't. So what are we going to do about that? We got to keep fighting, we got to keep talking, we got to keep this in everybody's face to let them know, hey, what, they're, what they say they're doing, that's just like throwing paint on a rock. It don't mean nothing. Because if you're not fixing the house completely and having it up to standards, what good is it? You, would, you wouldn't put a dog in there. You, would, you wouldn't put a dog in that situation. Why you don't put families, uh, uh, the kids, you know what I'm saying, in that type of situation. These are people we're talking about, not pets. So, so in, in, in conjunction with the uh, Valentine's Day, may I?